welcome back to another video hope you are having a great day and one of the common issues that we face is on our movie setup cinema setup if we purchase a new tv with all the bells and whistles in terms of technology perhaps our audio system is not compatible with all the audio formats or our media streaming device is not compatible so we will end up with three devices but not all of them will talk the same language now today we have here a solution for one of those problems this is the HDI 929 and it will be able to make those devices talk each other including those that do not have ARC or eARC support now here at Ori we have a wide range of audio gear and one of our most popular sellers has been the HDI audio extractors and continuing that work we have brought the HDI 929 which is a device that will sit between our media streaming devices and our TV and will make all of them talk to each other taking advantage of the maximum image quality and the maximum audio quality. Inside the package we will find the HDA 929, a power adapter and a quick user guide. The HDA 929 has a compact design and a great build quality. All metal enclosure that keeps the components cool by dissipating all the heat. That being said, let's dive in and see how it works the hda 929 features a hdmi input which is where we are going to connect our media source such as nvidia shields apple tv roku or any other multimedia device now in this particular case for the example i'm going to use my or one of my favorite devices which is the nvidia shield TV. So there we go. I've got my HDMI coming out from the NVIDIA Shield TV streaming device and it's going into the source on the HDI 929. And right next to it we have uh, ARC or eARC soundbar port where we will connect to our ARC compatible or eARC compatible soundbar or AVR. Now at this moment just for the example I've got this Ultimia right over here and as we can see it is compatible with ARC so let's connect it. So I just need to connect the cable on the ARC eARC soundbar with one end of the HDMI cable which is probably short one for this case and on the HDMI of our soundbar. So at this moment, what we have right over here with all the formats supported that I will try to put on the screen during the video is that we have all the audio and image coming out right out of here, getting into the HDMI 929. And at this moment, the audio will pass through all the codecs and everything that we can take advantage to our soundbar. Now at this moment we still have two free. So this one right over here is the ARC eARC TV output one which is where we are going to connect to our TV. So at this moment I just need to connect one HDMI cable right over here and then connect the other end of this HDMI cable to my TV. And this TV can be compatible with ARC or eARC or it can be non-compatible and it will work without any issues whatsoever but in case that we want the sound to come out from our tv which might be a case scenario what we would do right over here is probably we would dismiss our nvidia shield tv so we have no source right over here our source would come from the tv if we have eARC and in that particular case we will need to activate the arc eARC function with this button right over here now just connected back to the nvidia shield tv so we have a source coming in and then it goes out to this soundbar and it will go out to our tv now we also have another option right over here which is the hdmi out to and this one reads audio only. This output is for soundbars or AVRs that do not have 
ARC or eARC function, but that do have an HDMI input port. And a common confusion with ARC eARC is that some soundbars only have one HDMI port, which is the ARC eARC port, like this one right over here. So people confuse it with the HDMI input, and that is not correct. So soundbars such as Sonos ARC would not connect to the audio only, but through this one right over here, like we have on this example. So basically to simplify, if you have any audio system without ARC support, you will be granted without any issues whatsoever. The only thing that we would require would be to disconnect this cable right over here, which is from our soundbar compatible with eARC. And we would connect to our sound system, which in this particular case on the example, would not have the eARC or eARC function. And now with the setup already connected so that we can see it working, I've got my NVIDIA Shield TV, which is my streaming device in this setup example, which is connected to the input right over here on the HDI 929. And then we have the eARC ARC output connected to the sound bar. And then finally, we have the output one, HDMI output one in this example, connected to this display. And we have MTD out too because we don't have any other audio system. So in this example what I've got right over here is this simple setup and if I press play one, you will which see means that we will be able to control that four different we are playing from the sound bar system, and I can just using one display, lower one the volume on the sound bar which is using the uh, audio capabilities that our device has. Now, all this has to do with the formats that my source device is capable of sending to the system. The Ore HDA929 will support everything that is available, including Dolby, Atmos, and so on, but you can check down below on the video description. If I had a system right over here that did not have the ARC capability, I just needed to connect instead of the ARC port right over here on the HDMI 2 to that older system but still has a great audio and I want to use it for example. One more feature that it has and I don't have a TV right over here, I've got this computer display which does not have ARC but if we wanted to extract as I said before ARC from our TV, let's say that I don't have the NVIDIA Shield, I only had my TV with great audio capability and so on and so forth, but I want to extract it to a better source. I would just need to connect it to, or oh, press the button ARC eARC, and I would get the sounds getting in from the uh, TV to my or a HDI 929. Now, as we can see, I've got right over here ARC eARC signal, but as is a display, and let me try right over here, no sound because we are extracting from a device that it's not compatible with ARC. So I needed to have a TV with ARC and then when we activate it, we'll extract the audio from here and send it directly to the sound bar. Now, if I press the button once again, I will disable that and we will start extracting the audio from our source right over here. And as we can see, or as we can hear, we already have the sound back from my NVIDIA Show TV and that coming out from the sound bar right over here. So hopefully this was helpful to show how the system can work in one of the main examples that we could use. And hopefully these examples were helpful to understand a little bit better how the HDA 9-9 does its magic and will make our setup a lot better in terms of audio quality. Now it supports up to 4K 60Hz, 24-bit RGB and it supports HDR, HDR10, 10 Plus, Dolby Vision, and HLG pass through. So it's a perfect solution for sound bars like the Bose 500, Bose 700, Bose 900, and other compatible devices. But for more specifications and all those details that we do believe that are important, link will be down below so that you can check out all and the price.
price and availability of this simple but magic device. That being said, hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. If you still haven't subscribed, please consider doing it so, so that you can keep on receiving news as soon as they are released. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.